Okay, now that we've successfully installed our legs, uh, the next section we're going to do is install the toe cake. Now typically we'd wait till we have the whole kitchen in and all the cabinets in and, and do the toe cake all at once. Obviously for this demonstration we just have the one cabinet, uh, so therefore we just have a cut down piece of toe cake that we'll install uh, showing our clip method. Okay, so what we have for hardware is our uh, plastic mounting clip. Now what you want to make sure and do is orientate to where these screws are top and bottom. No! Like that, but like this. Uh, then what you'll end up doing is you have a secondary clip, slides in here. What that does is this will then clamp around the leg uh, of the adjuster feet that we just installed. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our first clip, we're going to just line up our toe kick, and really with the way this system works is uh, you can get it close uh, and it mounts up fairly well. Uh, what you want to do is eyeball it through your center hole, lay it down there approximately in the middle of your toe kick, and line that up right with your uh, foot there. Um, try to keep it roughly in the middle of it, that way you make sure your clip lands on the uh, leg itself. Okay, uh, I'm going to use the impact driver, uh, screwdriver if you have to. What you want to do is you want to put one screw each caddy corner. Second screw in. And then that clip is secured. Next you want to do is put your clip in, so slide it through the grooves. Okay, so now that we've got both our mounting hardware in place, uh, we're ready to install it. Now typically on a longer run of cabinets, uh, you don't need to put the clips on every leg. Uh, we recommend about every 30 inches or so. Obviously for this case, we've only got the one cabinet, so we just got the two legs. Uh, so what we'll do is now that we've got it installed, we want to tip it up, slide it back until we feel it starting to engage, and then just press it on. 